Superman's boyfriend gives the new Man of Steel an updated cape in DC Pride one shot. I just can't even do it. So in the as if he's gonna wear that. Oh, please. I don't. Why do we need this? Look, here's the deal. I recommend anyone that wants to get a a good grounded perspective on this stuff. Go check out Wes's channel, Thinking Critical. Mm -hmm. He had one on this today, and and he's right. It's they are obsessed. Yeah, obsessed with sexual orientation. Just stop. That's the whole story here. It's not even about him being Superman. No. He's he's bisexual. That's the story. Yep. Nobody wants to read that. Not even LGBTQ people want to read that story. They might go, oh, that's cool. I'm really glad they're doing that. They're not going to read it because they don't yeah. care because it's a shit story. Yeah. It's like Wes said. Guess what? If they bring back uh, Kal El, the real Superman, and make him Superman again in, in this title. And they advertise it as he's a womanizing, he gets the most ladies and lays him <laughs> down. Uh, aren't you wanting to read how he does that? He's a hot, you know, he's laid more ladies than anyone in the universe. It's like, I don't want to read that shit either. Yeah. I want to read a good Superman story. That everyone connects with. Give me good action. Give me give me a Superman story. That's a great story. That's a comic book story. I don't give a crap anymore about all the sexual orientation stuff. Yep. I don't care about any of it. Right. And they're they're obsessed. Obsessed. When do you think the tide's going to change? Or do you think eventually we're going to have this? section of comics be this way and they're going to be earth you know 502 and then we're going to go back to this earth over here and it's going to be more of a normal and i'm not saying none of these type of characters i'm going to just say more of a normal story yeah i think we're if the tide doesn't turn soon it, it's not going to and the and the big two will die a slow painful death and they will live on only in the movies and TV shows. Because we're at the end. Uh, yeah. DC especially, we've talked about this before. I mean, their sales are in the toilet. Marvel sales last time were horrible. And the creative talent behind the big two, there is no talent. So, at least editorially speaking, there there is no direction. There's no captain on the ship, despite there being some a uh, handful of still decent writers and some really good artists still there. Yeah. But, man, if we don't see something here with Zaslav taking over and making DC Studios a whole DC entity, and the comics are a part of that too, and they start riding the ship with getting their marquee characters back, getting presenting them in a way that everyone will want to read them again, if we don't get that in the next few months or get they start laying some groundwork, then this is it. I, I think it's going to happen. I really do. I think Zaslav's going to go in there and they are going to salvage DC. But if for some reason it doesn't work out like that, it's over. It's over. Uh, I mean, yeah. that is the epitome of rock bottom. I mean, that's rock bottom. If you have enjoyed what you have watched, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you check out our other videos. Thank you.